Remember when we put Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive in a triple threat match? Well, today we're narrowing down the field for a head-to-head -head clash. It's time for Google Drive versus OneDrive. We've been reviewing cloud storage services for more than 10 years, so it's fair to say we know our stuff when it comes to these platforms. Today, we're diving deep into this Google Drive versus OneDrive showdown. In this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about these two cloud storage services. We'll be covering security and privacy, core features, collaboration tools, and of course, speed and pricing. By the end of this video, you'll have an idea of exactly which cloud storage service is the best fit for you and your money. Let's kick things off with security and privacy, because let's face it, they're the foundation of any good cloud storage service. Both services have some solid features, but there are some differences you'll want to know about, starting with Google Drive. They've got the basics covered. The main players are present, 256-bit AES encryption for your files at rest and TLS for data in transit. OneDrive matches the security level. It uses the same standards for files at rest and in transit. So far, so good for both. They're neck and neck when it comes to standard security practices. But here's where we get some distance between the two. OneDrive pulls ahead with its personal vault feature. It's like a folder within your folder that's got extra security. You need additional authentication to access it, like two-factor authentication, a PIN, or even biometrics. When it comes to privacy, both services have some, let's say, room for improvement. Neither offers zero-knowledge encryption, which means they technically could access your files if they wanted to. Not great if you really value your privacy, Google, being Google is pretty upfront about collecting your data. They gather information like your usage data and preferences, Gmail messages, photos, videos, browsing history, internal thoughts and feelings. Well, <laughs> okay, the last one's a joke, obviously. But you get the picture. Google has access to a lot of files. Google says it's for improving their services and, you know, targeted ads. OneDrive collects things like device information, data about your OneDrive usage, and metrics on how features are being used. They claim they may also use your data for sending ads your way as well. And when it comes to where your data is stored, Google operates data centers in the US or Europe. For OneDrive, your data can be located in many European countries, Canada, Australia, India, and several others. For most users, OneDrive stores data in centers within your region. Typically, if you're in the US, your data is stored within the US data centers. In the security and privacy round, it's a close call. OneDrive edges ahead slightly with its personal vault, but neither is winning any privacy wards. If you're after high-level security and privacy, you might want to look at services like Sync.com or pCloud that offer zero-knowledge encryption. We've got in-depth reviews of these services linked in the description box below for you to check out. Moving on to features and usability. Google Drive shines here with its pretty clean, intuitive interface and whether you're using the web version or the desktop app, everything is where you'd expect it to be. You can search not just by file name, but also by content within documents and even texts in images. OneDrive integrates seamlessly with Windows, obviously. If you're a Windows user, OneDrive feels like it's just part of the operating system, and that's because, well, it is. It's pre-installed on Windows 10 and 11. The interface is clean and familiar, especially if you're used to Microsoft products. And both services offer desktop apps for Windows and Mac OS and mobile apps for iOS and Android, but neither has a Linux app. One feature I really like in OneDrive is the Files On Demand. It lets you see all your files in File Explorer, but they don't take up space on your hard drive until you actually need them. And Google Drive has a similar feature called Google Drive File Stream. You can stream your files so they only become live when you interact with them and don't take up any local storage space. Google Drive has a slight edge when it comes to third-party app integrations. You can use apps like DocuSign, Slack, and even some Adobe products directly within Google Drive. For OneDrive, there are no third-party integrations unless you're on the business version. On the business plan, you can use apps like GenuScan, DocuSign, and AppSheet. 
It also tends to stay closer to the Microsoft ecosystem and this might feel a bit restrictive if you're not already invested in Microsoft products. For Apple users like myself, using OneDrive might feel a bit like stepping into unfamiliar territory. It's a bit more, the experience is a bit more clunky if you install the OneDrive app on, on Mac OS. Both services offer file versioning. Google Drive doesn't mention exactly how long version history goes back for Google Files, but for non-Google Files, it keeps versions for up to 30 days or 100 versions per file, whichever comes first. OneDrive matches the 30-day limit for personal accounts and for OneDrive business accounts, the default is to store up to 500 versions and you can access them indefinitely. Just to give you a bit of perspective, Sync.com offers versioning on files from anything between 180 days to one year on all its personal accounts. So for features and usability, it's another close round. Your choice here might come down to which ecosystem you're more interested in, Google or Microsoft in this case. Let's talk about getting stuff done. Both Google Drive and OneDrive offer some serious productivity and collaboration tools. Google Drive comes with Google Workspace, which includes docs and sheets and slides and much more. And these are tools that are really, really great for real-time collaboration in a small business environment, um, or even for your personal files. I actually use Google Drive with my remote team of over 80 individuals, and as most of you guys know, it's really a game changer for collaborative work. And on OneDrive, on the other hand, OneDrive is tightly integrated with Microsoft 365. You had access to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on the free plan as well. The paid plans offer premium versions of these, plus access to more options like OneNote and so on. Both services allow you to share files and folders easily. You can set permissions and create shareable links. OneDrive also allows you to password protect your links and set expiration dates if you have a business account. I'm afraid none of Google Drive's plans have this feature yet. For real-time collaboration, I found Google Drive to be slightly smoother. It changes sync almost basically instantaneously and it handles multiple editors much better. And in my hands-on testing, I've noticed that OneDrive can occasionally struggle with real-time collaboration, especially with larger files. And when working on documents over 10 megabytes in co-author mode with multiple users, I experienced some noticeable lag. This isn't a deal breaker, but it's something to keep in mind if you frequently collaborate on hefty files with large teams. Google Drive, in my experience, tends to handle those scenarios much more smoothly than OneDrive. In the productivity and collaboration round, it's a tough call. If you're all about real-time collaboration and third-party integration, Google Drive might be your winner. But if you need the full power of Microsoft Office and you're already in the Microsoft ecosystem, OneDrive could be just a better choice. And personally, for my team's workflow and my business, Google Drive has been the safe bet and is working smoothly. All right, let's talk speed because nobody likes waiting around for files to upload and download and sync, right? But first, here's how we tested CloudWords. We use a remote Windows computer with 100 megabits connection speed for stability. We upload and download a five gigabytes folder of mixed files and we do this twice and then we average out the result and we've been doing this over a couple of years now. So how did our contenders perform? Well, Google Drive took an early lead. It clocked in with an average time of seven minutes and 15 seconds for our folder and that's Pretty impressive, landing at the second fastest spot in our rankings, just behind iStrive. For downloads, Google got our folder on our desktop in seven minutes and 18 seconds. It's worth noting that Google Drive's performance likely owes a lot to Google's vast network of data centers spread across your globe, no matter where you are, and chances are there's a Google data center not too far away. OneDrive, while a bit slower, took close to seven minutes and a half for uploads. It was on par with Google Drive for downloads. So in the speed round, Google Drive statistically takes the win, but remember, these are very, very fine margins and in everyday use, you're probably not gonna notice a difference. And if you'd like to know more about the fastest cloud storage we've tried, well, you can just watch this video right here and you'll know everything about our testing methodology, which one's the fastest and which one we recommend. Last. But definitely not least, let's talk 
monies. I'll start with the free plan. Google Drive has a generous 15 gigabytes of free storage, and that's really nothing to sneeze at. It's enough for thousands of documents, and OneDrive, on the other hand, offers a more modest five gigabytes for free. Not terrible, but definitely not enough compared to Google here. And quick side note, if you're curious about the best free cloud storage options out there, check out the video that we've made here. Moving on to pay plans. Both services offer a range of options. Google's paid plans start at around $2 per month for 100 gigabytes. You can bump that up to two terabytes for around $10 per month for the same amount of storage space, plus a personal AI assistant called Gemini Advanced, you'll pay around $25 per month. OneDrive's pricing is a bit more complicated because it's often bundled with Microsoft 365. Their standalone plan offers 100 gigabyte for around $2 per month, matching Google's base plan. But the real value comes with Microsoft 365 personal plan at around $6 per month, which gives you one terabyte of storage plus access to Office apps. There's also a family plan at around $8 per month that covers up to six people, each getting one terabyte of storage. Both of them have business options as well. Google started around $6 per user per month and Microsoft kicks off at $5 per user per month. You get a range of apps suitable for Teams as well as other perks. You can head over to their websites for, for more details on the business plans as it would take me too much time to cover all these plans here in this video. So. Who wins on pricing? For personal use, I'd say Google Drive edges out if you just need pure storage. But if you're using Office apps anyway, OneDrive's Microsoft 365 bundle is really hard to beat. But okay, what is, what's the verdict then? Both services have their strengths. Google Drive shines with its generous free storage, fast speeds and smooth real-time collaboration. It's a great choice if you're already deep in the Google ecosystem and OneDrive, on the other hand, offers tighter integration with Windows and Office apps and some nice security features like the personal vault and great value. If you're already using Microsoft 365, it's a solid pick for Windows users. Personally, I lean towards Google Drive for its speed and collaboration features, but hey, it's just me. Your favorite cloud storage service may vary depending on your specific needs. So check out the features, rewatch this review so you know exactly what you're getting into. And if you're not interested in either of these services, you might also want to check out some alternatives. Sync.com and pCloud offer zero knowledge encryption if privacy is your top concern. So what do you think? Are you team Google? Are you team OneDrive? Drop a comment below and let me know. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay cloudy.